Decision 2018, eight days now until Election Day. And tonight we're releasing brand new results from a Detroit News WDIV poll. Uh, at 5 p.m., we shared the results of polling surrounding the governor's race, which revealed Democratic nominee Gretchen Whitmer currently holds a 12% lead over Republican Bill Schuette. Taking a closer look at that data, Schuette received a favorability rating of just more than 30%, with close to 27% of voters saying they either have no opinion or have never heard of him. Meanwhile, Whitmer's favorability rating sits just under 40% with a combined 29% of voters saying they either do not know her or do not have any opinion of her. So now let's get over to Mar McDonald with brand new numbers surrounding the race for U.S. Senate. And Mar, the uh, numbers here, again, not much movement, still a double-digit lead. If there is a race in this state where we have seen a little bit of movement, it is definitely this one. That said, Stabenow is heading into Tuesday with an extremely comfortable lead over John James. The Senate race pits a long-term incumbent against a compelling newcomer, but the numbers show Debbie Stabenow cruising to victory. That said, when we originally pulled this race in September, Stabenow was up on him by more than 22 points. Now she's ahead of him by 16.7. So he has been able to move the needle. Debbie Stabenow is polling in the, in the low 50s. She has been consistently there. John James is making headway in terms of building his name ID. And, you know, when we first started polling after Labor Day, he was down 23 points. He's picked up, we see, as seven points. But Debbie Stabenow is in a comfortable position right now. James may have made strides, but our poll also shows that 30% of voters do not recognize who he is, and she is crushing him in independence, leading 52 to 18. Jay, something to think about here, which is we have a tremendous amount of data that we have done in this polling. We are going to be releasing it all over the next 24 hours. And I want to talk to everybody about polling standards. We don't do half-baked polling. We do the gold standard of polling, which is live people on the phone, not those annoying robocalls that call you at all hours. You have a real person who is calling you to ask you this. Which people always want to know about who did you call and what was this person like. Yeah, good to know as we break that all down for sure. And like you say, anything can happen in the last eight days. Oh yeah, I mean the polling is all over the place. So everybody stand by to stand by and <laughs> let's see what happens on Tuesday. It's gonna get tight. All right, thanks tomorrow. And stay with Local 4 as we continue to share the latest polling data and from our exclusive poll tomorrow morning at six, we'll reveal how Michigan voters are leaning in the races for Attorney General and Secretary of State.